I've always believed that uh, uh, if you are old enough to bleed for your country, if you are old enough to die for your country, either by service in the military or service in the police force, if you are old enough to cast a vote, if the electorate, if the Nigerian constitution uh, vests you with enough judgment to determine who should be president, to determine who should be governor, who should be senate, senator, who should be a member of the House of Rep and who should be a member of the House of Assembly. I think uh, uh, you are also old enough, wise enough to also lead in any capacity. Um, this is not new. Uh, for those who are not even familiar with uh, other crimes, if you go to the state of Massachusetts and the state of New Jersey in the U.S., you have 18 year olds. You know, 18 year olds, some of them are actually still in college, still in university, but they are members of the House of Delegates, which is like the, the State House of uh, uh, Assembly. You see, the, the bottom line is this we are in a democracy. The mere fact that an 18 year old is allowed to run for political office does not mean that that 18 year old will win. But at least he has a right to participate. And these are people who constitute a very large uh, segment of our, of, our, of, our, of our society. They're always complaining that uh, they, uh, they, they've been frozen out of the political space. You know? And that is why they're always shouting, all say, all say, all say, all say. So we now say, hey, you know, here's your opportunity. Let them run. Let them even see what it is like to run for a change. You know, I'm sure by the time uh, their names get on the ballot, they run, maybe win or lose, they will begin to show some respect for those who have all actually gone through the process too. You know, so mine is that uh, they should be allowed to run. Even uh, making the change from uh, 40 to 35 for president, uh, 35 to 30 for senator, and 30 to 25 for uh, House of Reps and House of Assembly, which is what that bill, not too young to run, actually calls for. I don't believe that even that change is cosmetic. If you must reduce it, reduce it all the way to 18 years. To me, there's no radical difference between an 18 year old and a 25 year old, you know, in terms of uh, ability or capability to serve. And uh, at least I did cast my vote for it. I supported uh, uh, those who championed it here on the floor of the Senate. We have one of the youngest senators. Uh, the father was the former governor of uh, Adamawa. And then the mother is, uh, is a serving uh, federal high court judge or a court of appeal judge. I'm not so sure. You know, but he's the youngest senator out there. And uh, uh, he, he didn't even need to convince me. I just say, hey, you know, I'm with you. I did cast my vote for it. And uh, we passed it in the Senate. And I'm sure it passed too in the House. So it's not left for the very, uh, at least 24 out of 36 House of Assembly, the House of Assemblies, you know, to pass it. And I'm calling on all of the youths, you know, in Delta State, you know, mobilize to Asaba, mobilize to the State House of Assembly, you know, and make those members of the House of Assembly cast their vote in support of uh, uh, this very bill so that you, the youth, you know, also have a chance, you know, to govern. Governance is not the exclusive preserve, you know, of 50-year-olds uh, uh, like us, you know. <laughs>